Welcome to the Daily Oppa. This is being Korean in Egypt. What's it called again? Shed on my street. Shed on my street. One of the things that happens to me every day while in Egypt is a stranger on the street will say ni hao, which is hello in Chinese, or konnichiwa, hello in Japanese. Okay, so accept it. Unless it's a K popper, Egyptians don't know you're Korean. Merhaba. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing you should probably learn to accept is how crazy crowded Cairo is. Okay, people in the way of cars, cars in the way of people. But alhamdulillah, there's plenty forms of transportation here. So you can choose to take the metro, you could choose to take a bus or van, and I suppose for the fun of it, you could probably even find a horse or a camel somewhere. And then of course you have taxis, which I don't recommend. Okay, and then there's my favorite choice of transportation, as with most foreigners, and that's Uber. Oh! Video? Yes, video. Nice to meet you. Oh, Is your wife? Is your wife? <laughs> no, no. no, no. How many wives you have? Four? No. 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 Come on. Yeah. Bam! Look at that view, yeah, amazing. On the subject of favorites, my favorite hobby happens to be the favorite of many Egyptians. It's like a national pastime here, okay? And it might as well be a national sport. And no, I'm not talking about football. I'm talking about eating. Yes, that's right. Egyptians love to eat, and so do I. <laughs> Because Egyptians are by nature a very hospitable people, my friends love to take me out and introduce me to their favorite cuisine. So we have this. Kofta. Kofta. Reyes. Wait, wait, okay. This is Reyes. Reyes. Bidinjan. Bidinjan. Mahalel. Mahalel. And then? Ors. Or? Mu'ammar. Mu'ammar. Basara. Basara. Tahina. Sahina. But my personal favorite is a sandwich here made of cow intestines. That's right, I said it. Cow intestines. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now I don't know if most Egyptians like to try new foods, but my friends certainly do. So we've gone around town tasting different Korean restaurants. <laughs> I'm not saying this because I'm drunk, okay? My f the friends I've made in Egypt have been some of the nicest, kindest, uh, open-minded people that I've been around. <laughs> Opa drank too much. <laughs> Opa drank too much. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Wait, uh, okay. <laughs> but the very best Korean restaurant you can find in Egypt is a place called Tomato located inside Madi. So if you're looking for real authentic flavors using only the highest quality ingredients, Tomato. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Try it. You first. Hold it. Hold it. It's high to the Okay, this is a sugar cane, right? Sugar cane. Despite how loud and busy Cairo is, you can find so many places here of solitude and sanctuary. Okay, places of peace and quiet and beauty. I always feel relaxed when I'm here. Oh, you feel relaxed when you come here? Yes. Mm. 
although I'm not a religious man, you can really find peace within all the craziness whenever you step inside of a mosque. Now, I must warn you about something here, okay? It's called Egyptian time. And it's basically when your friend says, Opa, I'll see you in five minutes. And they show up two hours later. Why? Egyptian time. Why are you late? It occurred late. Late and why? Are you late? It occurred late. We, we, we have to say it in your angry. Occurred late. Hatale. My friend, Bombat Mina. And my friend, Mike. Okay. Marhaba. So there you go. These are a few things you might find in Egypt. Let me also say, I love being here. Okay, there's a sort of magic and mystery to it all. It's in the dirt, the places, the people. What you might find is an ancient beauty calling you to return, which is probably why I'm back. Okay, because once you taste of Egypt, Egypt is in your heart forever.